So today I'm going to show you step by step how to make this cap, and it's very straightforward and it's very easy. And I'm going to try to show you step by step. So uh, hopefully you'll learn and how to make a cap for your doll. First of all, you need a fabric like this, and I'm using a fabric. It's like a stretch, you know, stretchy fabric. Okay, you can use knit, you can use uh, lycra, or you can use. Um, you know this. You know the fabric is is has elastic. You know. Okay, so this way is not, but this way it is. I need to tell you guys is you need to use a measurement tape, a measurement tape like this to uh, measure Chris's head, measure Chris's head. You know, and uh, you know like around the top of you know like her forehead here. So based on my measurement, based on my measurement. It, it is 12 inches, so you need to add one more inch. So it's 13 inches. So um, this fat, a piece of fabric here is 13 inch this way, 13 inch this way, and down this way is 6 inches, 6 inches, okay? So now you get the measurement, okay? So next thing is we need to have an elastic, an elastic like this, and uh, the same... Uh, same uh, length as your um, as your, your your fabric. So the elastic will also be 13 inches. Okay. So uh, we're gonna get started how to uh, put this whole thing together. First, what I want you to do is to the wrong side you're looking at. Okay, and this is the right side, right? So what you need to do is we want to sew the seam. Sew the seam down like a quarter inch like this okay we need to do that so that's what I'm going to do next so um, you want to set your sewing machine zigzag stitch so that's also you want to get a matching thread so since this is red we need to use red thread my zigzag stitch and you probably if you don't have experience sewing you probably want to um, you probably want to pin it, okay? But since I have sewing experience, I don't think pinning is necessary for me. But for those of you, you probably want to do that, okay? So I'm going to start. Okay, so now I just finished sewing uh, the seam, the top seam, okay, and we're using the zigzag stitch. The reason I want to use zigzag stitch is because uh, this type of fabric is stretchy, so you don't want to use a straight stitch. A straight stitch, when you do this, is not uh, flexible enough, so that's why we want to use um, a zigzag stitch, as you can see here. I hope you can see it. Now we need to put those two ends together, okay, on the right side. This is right side, this is wrong side. So this is the right side. We need to post both ends together like this, right side together, okay, like this now. You see? Okay, let me show you one more again, one more time. This one, you put it together like this, right side together. And now we are going to sew. Sew here, all the way. Okay, so now we finished sewing this side. We finished sewing this side, okay? So now it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. You see? It's like a skirt, okay? But not really. So now, since we already finished sewing, um, you know, now it's like a, a two, like this. We want to make a casing. We want to make a casing. So what we're going to do is fold this down. To make a casing so we can put elastic okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like this fold it down like about an inch or so so like this around it okay so around it meaning here all the way around okay not sewing like that you don't want to, to sew this opening you want to sew just 
forming a casing. Okay. So this is the casing now, okay? If you can see, this is a casing where you want to put your elastic in, but I also leave an opening. I also leave an opening so that way you can uh, ins uh, put in, put your um, elastic into the passage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my safety pin, okay, on one end. On the other end, I use another safety pin. So that way when you uh, thread it through, it's, you're not going to lose it, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to thread it through from this hole because this is a casing. This is called casing, okay? Just like your pajama pants, yeah, you have elastic on the top. So that's what I'm going to do is like I'm putting the elastic into the casing. You thread it through. This is the opening, and you want to sew both in together, okay? So... Let's remove the safety pin and just make sure not losing the safety pin back to the, the casing. So you need to sew both together like this, okay? Okay, so now I just finished putting those two together. Let me cut my loose thread. Okay, so now both end together, you see? Just need to cut the loose end, okay. So now you can put it back into the casing like this. Put it back into the casing. But now we have this opening, right? So we need to, uh, we need to close it by, so, you know, so the close, uh, so the opening. The casing is finished sewing. As you can see, the casing is finished sewing. So the top still opening. You see the top still opening? So now what we're going to do is we're going to be, now it's like this. Okay, this is your center. So now what we're going to do is we are going to sew the bottom. The bottom still open, right? Still opening. So now we're going to sew the bottom. We're going to fold it, which like this. We need to like this. The bottom, you can, can you see we have to fold it up. Okay, we're still working on the wrong side. So we need to fold it up like this and we're gonna sew from here all the way here to sew, to sew the seam. Okay, so as you can see now, the bottom is also sewed. Close it, you know, fold it out, sew it. Normally, it won't be like this, so sloppy, but I just try to speed up, so I don't really, I just want to show you the step, so I don't really care for the detail work. But, so we are going to just flip it over, uh, flip it over. Okay, so now once you flip it over, it's like this. Look like a box, right? So now we are going to put on Krissa. So you can see I have Krissa right here. And this is the cap that I made um, last, uh, last, in my last video. So now I'm going to take her, take her cap out. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on, the one I just made. I'm going to put it on her. So when I put it on her, you can see they are two years. Looks funny, right? You need to use your finger and just kind of push it down, kind of tuck it in. The right way to say is tuck it in. And here is your cap. I made this cap from Discount Trend Setter. And I really want to give her credit for this. I've learned the adult version, but now I convert it to uh, doll version. So I really um, hope you like this video and if you do, if you do, please rate, please rate. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will answer all your questions when I can. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!